Owning or renting a home in the city of Peoria makes you a member of the community. In order to build a strong community, there are certain property maintenance expectations of property owners and their tenants. This video is designed with the intent to highlight common issues code inspectors come across. We will be reviewing environmental, housing, and life safety issues. The City of Peoria ordinance regarding grass and weeds does not allow any overgrowth over 10 inches. It's important that occupants remember to maintain fence lines and alleyways. Maintaining these parts of your property will help prevent scrub trees and other weeds from growing. In regards to tree limbs and firewood, occupants must be aware of the following. Tree limbs on private property cannot block the public right away. When limbs are out for pickup, they must be bagged and bundled. Firewood must be stacked neatly and must be at least one foot off the ground. Not properly disposing tree limbs and other materials can serve as harborage for rodents. All garbage cans must have tight fitting lids and you must provide enough garbage cans to hold all your garbage. Please note, cans cannot be placed at the pickup no earlier than 3 p.m. the day before pickup and returned to the premise within 24 hours of pickup. Landscape waste must be placed in a biodegradable paper bag or in cans marked yard waste. Garbage that isn't properly disposed of can become food for unwanted pests. If debris or garbage has been illegally dumped on your property, the property owner is responsible for cleanup. If you know or have evidence of the individuals responsible for the dump, please contact the police department. If you're not sure where to drop off certain items like televisions or tires, please visit our website. When illegal dumping isn't properly handled, it can influence others to dump on your property and create a major eyesore in the neighborhood. Any vehicles with flat tires, broken windows, expired or unlicensed tags are deemed to be inoperable and must be removed. If any vehicle is being worked on in the driveway for an extended period of time, it will be considered inoperable. Now that we've discussed all the environmental elements, let's focus on the physical structure of your property. Housing numbers must be legible and visible from the street. Numbers should be a minimum of four inches in height with a minimum stroke width of a half inch. If possible, please provide housing numbers and alleys as well. Having housing numbers allows emergency services the ability to locate a property in a timely manner. All exterior surfaces with peeling paint need to be inspected. This includes any surfaces that was previously painted and is now peeling, such as wood siding, trim windows, foundation, steps, and porches. Please visually inspect the exterior of your property for any damaged siding material. This includes wood siding, vinyl siding, and aluminum siding. Per city code, a property needs to be weather tight. This helps with decay and disrepair. If present on the property, gutters need to be maintained, cleaned, and located around the whole property. Please make sure downspots are directed away from any surrounding properties. Water directed towards properties can cause erosion-related issues. Basement flooding, ice buildup, and extreme, extreme circumstances can cause the foundation to wash away or become unstable. Be sure to visually inspect your foundation and chimney for any loose, crumbling brick, deteriorated tuck pointing, and any open cracks or gaps. Foundations in good repair help prevent water damage and structural issues from, from arising. For every exterior and interior staircase where four or more steps are present, graspable handrails on one side of the stairs are required. Guardrails are only required when open walking surfaces are above 30 inches when measured from grade. Residents must park on paved surfaces and those surfaces must be maintained and free of hazardous conditions. Accessory structures must be maintained, structurally sound, and in good repair these include retaining walls, garages, and fences. That takes care of the exterior. Now let's review some common interior issues. A brief visual inspection of the inside of your home will confirm it meets all laws and ordinances regarding housing and building codes which affect tenant health and safety. City ordinances require you complete a life safety self-inspection form with your tenant prior to moving in and at least once a year. The self-inspection form will ensure life safety items are correct and the tenant can safely occupy the unit. Moving a tenant into a property where all life safety items are not corrected in working condition can result in a maximum fine of $5,000 for criminal housing management. Self-inspection forms are available on the City of Peoria website. 
Every habitable space in a dwelling must have at least two separate receptacle outlets excluding bathrooms and laundry areas, which should have at least one. Every outlet switch within the residence should have the proper faceplate for the location and be operable. Every habitable space should have at least one operable window unless the habitable space is ventilated through an adjoining room. All windows within the residence need to be weather tight, operable, and able to be held open without any extraordinary means. Windows are not required in bathrooms that are equipped with mechanical ventilation systems like the one we have here. This brings us to the topic of life safety. Every habitable room must maintain a minimum temperature of 65 degrees Fahrenheit. When tenants are forced to use space heaters, the risk of fire and asphyxiation increase because of the improper use and contact with or close proximity to combustible materials. The owner must eliminate all rodents and insects before a property can be rented or leased. Please note the following. The owner of a multifamily dwelling unit shall be responsible for pest elimination in the public or shared areas of the structure and exterior of the property. If a single unit is infested, it is the owner's responsibility and occupants to provide extermination. If mold is found, treat with an approved product. It's up to the property owner for proper cleanup and removal. Smoke and carbon monoxide detectors must be located in every sleeping area, one on every floor, including the basement. And please make sure detectors are in good working condition with fully charged batteries. A water heater drip leg must be a maximum of six inches from the ground. Having a short discharge pipe could potentially burn anybody within close proximity of the water when the pressure release valve discharges. Now let's take a look at some electrical safety. Electrical panels must have their respective covers on and open wires and outlets must be eliminated. Any electrical work in a non-owner occupied dwelling must be done by a licensed electrical contractor. For more information, please visit our website or call the Community Development Department. Property maintenance is a simple way to appreciate our neighborhoods and gives us all more reasons to appreciate Peoria.